Up next, it's none other than Patrick Christie's. Mm. Should the UK have a minister for men? Patrick's going to give us his two cents. Take it away, Patrick. Right, yes, I, I do think that we should have a minister for men. Everybody else gets a minister, why not the men? It's not a fashionable thing to say this, and the usual types are going to absolutely slaughter me, but I've made a little list of some of the reasons why I think men specifically need direct representation from a minister. So, uh, they need someone to stand up and tr help to fight the epidemic of male suicide. In education, boys have been outperformed by girls since the mid-90s. Nine out of ten homeless people are men. Men die five years younger than women. One in three domestic abuse cases are men. Uh, divorce. Uh, men tend to pay out a lot more, even if they don't want the divorce and it wasn't their fault. And parental rights as well. Apparently, 150 dads a day are denied access to their children, which also, as far as I, my research shows as well, means that the access to the paternal uh, grand father and grandmother link as well is shattered. I think that's an absolute problem. Look, I do think, whilst it might not be fashionable, at the end of the day, everybody else seems to get some form of representation. Why can't we have a minister to stand up for men?